Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the concept of rational behavior. So rational behavior uh, refers to a decision making process that's based on people making choices that result in the optimal level of benefit or the maximum level of, in, of utility for an individual. Now, most standard economic theories are based on the assumption that every agent operating in the market could be a consumer, could be a producer, are taking part in an action or an activity and making their choices and behaving rationally. So what lies behind rational behavior? What lies behind the assumption of rational behavior, which has dominated standard economic thinking and orthodox theory for, for decades? Well, some of the key assumptions are, first of all, that agents use all the information available. They gather complete information and all the alternatives, and therefore they're able to make a fully informed choice. Secondly, we're assuming that people are trying to be optimal. They're trying to make the choices between products, for example, uh, that maximize the total satisfaction they get from allocating their limited budget. We also assume that people choose independently of one another that my choices, my preferences, don't influence anybody else's in the market. And we also assume that the preferences and the tastes and things of consumers are relatively fixed and relatively stable. This means that people can make their choices in order to maximise the satisfaction they get and they can make rational decisions. Well, of course, you'll know from your study of behavioural economics that people now really do question rational behaviour. Classical economics assumes that individuals are rational. However, in the real world, we nearly always see lots of examples of what we perceive to be irrational behaviour. And those decisions which don't maximise utility can also cause a loss of economic welfare, a loss of social welfare perhaps. Um, the idea of rationality has been decisively challenged and questioned in particular by behavioural economists. So why do people question rational behaviour? Firstly, uh, people don't have the full capacity to calculate all the costs and benefits, particularly in a world where products are complex and, de and decisions are difficult to make. People are often influenced by their own social networks. That uh, challenges the assumption of independent choice. People's decisions are influenced by the decisions and choices that other people make, oftentimes within close-knit networks. Emotion can overtake logic. People may lack self-control and may seek immediate satisf uh, satisfaction, the desire for instant rewards, instead of thinking about the long-term consequences. Altruism can be a key thing here. People might make interest, uh, make uh, choices which involves themselves making a sacrifice for the benefit of somebody else rather than acting in pure self-interest. People often, um, in a, especially in a world of complexity, they stick to making a default choice. Their, their behaviour is habitual and is strongly um, based on defaults. So that's, a, that's a desire, if you like, to maintain the status quo. So as a result, there's lots of good reasons for thinking that people don't make fully informed, rational, self-interest decisions. They're bounded by complexity. They're bounded by their limited ability to calculate. And of course, they live in social uh, domains. They, they operate in different networks and different communities. And their decisions are oftentimes insanely influenced by the decisions of other people. So lots of reasons why we can indeed, and we do, challenge the assumption of rational behaviour which lies behind much of classical economic thinking. 